sorry, Jeff. I tried to tell my husband we got married, we should take my name, but he didn't believe me. 25 years later, he should have believed me. Uh, when I was getting ready for this speech, I said, oh my word, Jeff, I should have taken speech two, not just speech one in college. <laughs> no, just kidding, but oh my, um, the God has put me on one amazing journey. Just my whole life, just he has blessed me, and this is just one of the blessings. Um, I want to uh, begin by thanking some of the Millersville team players that I played with because I feel I there would be no recognition for me if there weren't the other people on that field making me look good basically but I want to thank them first and secondly the coaches and um, my coaching experience started out with Linda Kreiser. Linda Kreiser in seventh grade um, I went up to her she goes hey Sid do you want to play field hockey? I'm like oh I can't play field hockey and she goes you can't why not? I said because I'm left-handed. She went Oh no, that's definitely to your advantage. You know what, Crash? You were right. <laughs> Not only in seventh grade, she took me the whole way through high school, and my senior year, she came up to me and said, Hey, see, you want to go to um, college? I'm like, Sounds like fun. Yeah, let's check it out type thing. She said, How about Millersville? And she said um, how she went there and how she loved it there, and I should consider it. And I did, and, and I did love it. It was a perfect fit. Again, Linda Kreiser was right. Note to self if Linda Kreiser says it, and do it. <laughs> Secondly, as Miss Peters, I came in as a freshman. Uh, Miss Peters was my first coach, and um, I remember her distinctly at East Stroudsburg. Um, I was playing as a freshman, and we were at a free hit. Everything was quiet, and a girl hit me in the back of the legs. And my mom um, sat there and said, "Hit her back, Colleen." Miss <laughs> Peters turned around. I melded on the field, and that was the introduction of my family <laughs> to Miss Peters. But Miss Peters, who's not here tonight, was so supportive. Um, in between my first semester sophomore and my second semester sophomore year, I approached her and said, Miss Peters, um, I have to talk to you. She's, of course, you know, yeah, come on in. I said, I just wanted to let you know that I won't be back next year. She said, really? I said, yeah. I said, she goes, is it great? I'm like, oh, no, it's not great. My grades are great. She's like, well, why? I said, well, I just don't really get the point of this. Like, I'm going to school, I'm getting good grades, but we're getting nowhere fast. And she said, we need to talk. And what it was is I needed a goal. I needed a major. And she sat with me and we talked about it and I got a major and I and then I was focused. So that just tells you the caliber. I mean, she could have said, yep, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, you gotta go type thing. If you're not happy here, you should go on. But she didn't, she took the time and, and learned me and we figured out what I needed to do. Next came Carol Miller. Carol Miller, again, who's not here, um, I was all struck by her and her enthusiasm, her stick work. I'm like, wow, I this this person here I want to play under. Well, she then proceeded to tell me I was going to play this different position. And she would say, you know, support the ball, follow the ball, help your teammates. And I'm like, tack, I, I want to know like the whiteboard. Tell me the play. Where do you want me? A equals B, B equals C. And it wasn't that type of play. And by the time my senior year what came around, I loved where I was playing because I had the freedom to do what I needed to do. So she brought that whole different aspect of field hockey to me, and I appreciate her for that. Also, uh, Mrs. Trout, Mrs. Trout was our athletic director. We referred to her as Mom Trout. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> um, she had a, a, an incredible relationship with our team and me, and um, and also my mom <laughs> was well known in that. But um, she just was there to support. We could um, always go to her as an athletic director, always talk to her. Um, in between my junior, I mean, my junior and senior years, I was off campus. Mrs. Trout, um, I needed money, for some, some extra money for some food and stuff, and um, I was able to come in and work for her. I don't know if that was a blessing for her or not, but I was there and we had fun with that. Um, also, just... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's where it was. <laughs> um, faculty wise, I, we played at Brooks Field. So, uh, Dr. Caputo, Caputo is there, um, Dr. Riker and Mrs., and Mrs., they were there supporting us. Like, how cool is that? Um, in, and as far as like in the game, my freshman year, between my freshman and sophomore year, I had a knee injury. Mr. Vimson um, was just there morning, night, um, before practice, after practice, just there saying, when you're coming back, we got to get you back to strength. That is what Millersville is about. And I just, I just think that's amazing. Um, I also want to thank like the Hall of Fame committee just for this honor. It is truly an honor. When I received that phone call from Mrs. Trout, I, I'm sure her response uh, was, I just was like, really? I just couldn't believe it. So thank you so much for that. 
Also, um, Coach Shelly Behrens um, is a life lifetime friend of mine. Uh, she nominated me, and I appreciate that. But just she's a good person. She's great for the field hockey. I'm so glad you're here for field hockey and what you give field hockey. And um, you're just a good person, a good friend, Shelly. Thank you so much. Um, and I also want to thank my, my dad. Um, he was there. My parents were there the whole senior year. They got to be known as the um, team's family uh, parents. They'd bring us stuff, and if it was snowing, they were there. If it was raining, it was there. If it was scrimmage, they were there. And you know, you just, as a player, when you're playing, you see your parents there, it, it means something. And Dad, I'm gonna thank you for that. Um, and also, you can see in my table there, I have a group, a great group of family and friends that just have constantly supported me. And you just are, as a person, become much more confident with that. And I am been blessed with my great group of family and friends, and I want to thank you. Thank you, Hall of Fame, again. And um, it, it is a treasure. It is. Thanks.